Hello students, we are discussing the sector polynomials and here the question is obtain all the zeros of 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cubed minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. If two of its zeros are root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3. Okay, students? See, here we have two zeros. Here we have two zeros of this polynomial and other zeros we have to find. Here, that uh, polynomial we can write like this px 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. Here, root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3 are the zeros. There are the yeah, zeros of what? Zeros of p x. In class 1, already we got that if 2 is a factor, 2 is a factor of p x, then students, if 2 is a factor of p x, this polynomial, then x might, uh, 2 is not, sorry, not 2 is a factor, 2 is a 0, 2 is a 0 of p x, then x minus 2 is a factor of px. If 2 is a 0 of px, then x minus 2 is a factor of px. If minus 3, if minus 3 is a 0 of px, then x minus, we will make it minus 3, x minus, minus 3 is the factor of px. That means x plus 3 is the factor of px. This way, here we can write, here we can write, here root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3 are the zeros of px. Therefore, x minus root over 5 by 3 and this x minus root over 5 by 3 we got from root over 5 by 3 and x minus, we will make up minus root over 5 by 3. This one we can change because minus into minus plus. Okay. Therefore, x minus root over 5 by 3 and x plus root over 5 by 3 are the factors of px are the factors of px. Now, now we will multiply these two factors x minus root over 5 by 3 whole into x plus root over 5 by 3. This is a minus b whole into a plus b. So, x is a square minus b square. This is x squared minus 5 by 3. Students, so this is very important to under, try to understand this x minus root over 5 by 3 and x plus root over 5 by 3 are the factors of px. Therefore, we can say x squared minus 5 by 3 also factor of px. How? See students. We have a number 24. 24 if we divide 4 6 is a 24 that means 4 is a factor of 24 no remainder again 3 is a 24 no remainder when you divide this 24 by 3 there is no remainder that means 3 is also a factor of 24 now we can multiply 4 and 3 4 into 3 is equal to 12 now 12 is a factor of 24 or not? If we divide this 24 by 12, 
12 to the 20 to 4 root 2 see no remainder that means 12 is also a factor of 24 if we multiply these factors that 4 is a factor of 24 3 is a factor of 24 and their product 4 3 is a 12 12 is also a factor of 24 see x minus root over 5 by 3 is a factor of px x plus 5 by 3, x plus root over 5 by 3 is a factor of px therefore their product x square minus 5 by 3 also factor of px now very interesting students now we will divide this 3x to the power 4 my, uh, plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 by 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 this x square minus 5 by 3 x square minus 5 by 3 now we have to divide this when we divide we have to see the degree of this dividend here what is the degree and degree means highest power here what is the highest power 4 and it carried by this degree 4 carried by which one term 3x to the power 4 here we have to take 3x to the power 4 3 x to the power 4 okay and now in divisor in divisor what is the degree 2 and it carried by x square okay we will divide this 3 x to the power 4 by x square and this is equal to 3 x square this 3 x square we will take in the place of question now x square into 3 x square that is 3 x to the power 4 okay now this is negative, this is positive, minus into plus, minus. Now 5 by 3 into 3x square, see, 5 by 3 into 3x square. This 3, 3 cancel, what left? 5x square, this is square. This is square, so we will write it here, not in down of this x cube, because here this is x cube, this is x square, and we got x square. And this is minus 5x square. Now students, we have to subtract. And when we subtract, the sign will change. It was minus, now it will be plus. It was plus, now it will be minus. 3x to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 4. 3x to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 4. Cancel. Minus 2x square plus 5x square. This is 3x square. Okay? And this is plus. Now 6x square we will write it in down. This one also minus 10x minus 5. Okay, students. After this, we have to see the degree of this polynomial. 6x cube plus 3x square minus 10x minus 5. Okay, what is the degree? Highest power 3. And it carried by which term? 6x cube. This is 6x cube. And this one we have to divide it by x square because here highest power is 2 x square, then it is 6x. Six 6x, six we will take it here. Okay. Now x square into 6x, 6x six cube. Yes. Minus 5 by 3 into 6x. We will multiply minus 5 by 3 into 6x. 3 to the 6 minus 10x. Minus 10x, we will take it. Minus 10x. Okay, we have to take it. X. So, x, so we will write it here. Okay. Hmm. Now, see, students, we have to subtract 6x cube minus 10x. When you subtract, sign will change. This is negative. 6x cube minus 6x cube cancel. Minus 10x plus 10x. Minus 10x plus 10x cancel. So here 3x will square in down and minus 5 also in down. Now students, we have to see the degree. Here we have to see the degree in 3x square minus 5 
into x square minus y. What is the degree? That is two. Mean it carried by three x square. Three x square. Here, what is the degree? Two. It carried by x square. And if we divide x square, x square cancel. Three left. That three we will take it here. Now three into x square. This is three x square minus five by three into three. 3, 3, cancel, minus 5, left, okay, yeah, students, now, subtract, minus, this is plus, 3x square minus 3x square, cancel, minus 5 plus 5, that is also cancel, any remainder, no remainder, yes, till this step, okay, now see students, we have to find out, other zeros so we can write px like this px it was 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 this one we can write x square minus 5 by 3 whole into 3x square plus 6x plus 3 yes From this 3x plus 6x plus 3, we can take 3 common. And here, this one, left. 3, we can write this one. And x square minus 5 by 3, how? It was like this. x plus 5 by 3, and this is x minus 5 by 3. And x square plus 2x plus 1, we can write x plus 1 whole square. x plus 1 whole square, we can write x plus 1 into x plus 1. Very interesting students. Now we got all the zeros. All the zeros. Already we have root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3. This root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3, they are the zeros of this px. Now other zeros. Therefore, the zeros of px are root over 5 by 3 comma minus root over 5 by 3 x plus 1 is a factor of px x plus 1 therefore minus 1 is the 0 x plus 1 is a factor of px also and Minus one. Therefore, the zeros of px are root over five by three, minus root over five by three, minus one, and minus one. Okay, students. Very interesting. This way we can find the zeros. Okay, students. Thank you.